All oh, right, I am finally sick of not having a gyrocopter at this stage in the game. Traders have not been nice to me with their rewards, and it has taken me until day 36 to get 74 vehicle magazines. That's not the worst, all things considered. If it was to take me another in-game week to naturally find the gyrocopter books I need, then you would have a gyrocopter by day 42, and maybe that's what the devs intended for the speed of getting that kind of thing, but that just is not. I don't want a vehicle at the end of my progression, because what am I using the vehicle to progress towards if it's the final thing I get, right? It's pointless. So I like to get the gyrocopter earlier, and I've been trying to get it to spawn in trader inventories or in loot. And I do have a massive loot stage bonus because this is a snow only series and it's just not been cooperating. So we're going to do the easy way. What we need to do is reset my skill points, put it into Grease Monkey and find one, maybe two bookstores I haven't looted. I checked Trader Bob's quests here. I just came down after the horde um, and he doesn't have any good book POIs to reset. So instead, we're going to explore to find the books. Now we can say for sure no bookstores here. This one had a bookstore, but I used it. This town might have a bookstore, this town definitely doesn't have a bookstore. So what we can do to find more bookstores, if you're wondering how to explore a little bit easier in Seven Days to Die, these roads are main roads. You can tell because they connect to things like these intersections. Um, if you follow them, you will find towns. They lead places. They always go somewhere. See, this road here goes from that town to this town. So this Trader Bob here has three roads basically coming right out of him that will take us to other towns or maybe they'll just loop back up into this town and we'll have to use another road but either way following these roads is a good idea but first I want to check Trader Hughes town because there's definitely more town here that I haven't looted but before that becomes in any way useful we need to put the odds in my favor and I didn't bring any damn money shit okay we're gonna have to drive home get some dukes and buy two forgetting elixirs so that I can reset my skill points and get grease monkey which is gonna massively put Put the book loot in the favor of vehicles and then the second forgetting elixir will be to come out of intellect because I don't need intellect it's completely useless to me beyond getting vehicles and it does really bother me that if you don't do an intellect build or you're not playing multiplayer with someone who has an intellect build and you don't like to use forgetting elixirs like I don't like to do it but I do it because you just have to if you want to get anywhere any quickly uh, it bothers me that you have to use a completely nonsensical item, in my opinion. Just completely overwrite your character's progression with a bottle of, like, whiskey. Doesn't make much sense. And it's a game that doesn't make that much sense anyway, but that really doesn't make sense. But since I have a 20 episode structure in my series, I'm going to force it out faster using the forgetting elixirs but god i really wish you didn't have to do that to get things you want quickly and my real problem with the learn by reading system above all else is the fact that it's piss easy if you do it precisely the way that you're supposed to and you'll never ever get anything you want if you don't do it that way and the way you have to do it is essentially put all your points into the thing you want. Ideally, put no points in anything else and you will get the thing you want very quickly if you find a bookstore and loot it. That makes it so that you can craft the gyrocopter as early as like day five if you did it right. But here I am having not focused my build towards making gyrocopters, day 36 and I still don't have it. It forces you to either just never get things you want or it forces you to push your build towards a certain thing that you might not want to do for the 100th time. How many series is on my channel have been Strength and Intellect? Because this update basically forces you to go Strength and Intellect. If you're doing single player, if you're multiplayer, it's way more flexible and that's fine. I don't... Maybe that's what they intend. Maybe the devs really assume everybody's playing multiplayer. And I'm sure a good amount of the player base does play multiplayer. But this game is definitely not selling itself as a game that is supposed to be multiplayer only so it should really consider the single player balance a little bit easier and now that you're basically forced to go down intellect if you want to get vehicles in any kind of timely manner it removes a lot of the replay value because it's like you can either go very slowly or you can get the vehicles when you want them but now you're an intellect build or a strength intellect build and you have to forget an elixir out of it and it's like why are we even doing this if I'm just gonna use a magical item that resets my progression why even have a role-playing game at that point so money 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 there's money I'll bring some of this as well 
You know, I'll bring a spare just in case, because I want to buy two. Get one from Jen if she has one, and one from Bob. If not, we can get one from Hugh, because I do want to check his town as well. Because it looks prime for some bookstores. It just has that vibe about it, you know? Let's quickly check in with Jen and see if she does have a forgetting elixir. I doubt it. I've probably already bought that one, because we used one to check the trader loots a couple of days ago. And I don't know if she's reset yet, but we can check. Yeah, now she has one. Let's drink this. Here we go. Let's head down to Trader Bob and buy another one. And I'm sad that I have to resort to forgetting elixiring and hunting down bookstores just to get the vehicle. Because none of the other skills have been that bad, you know? All the other things that a character uses, you just get when you play naturally. And I think the devs made a mistake when they made vehicles an intellect related thing, because vehicles are something that literally every player of every game is always going to have, because they're so important to your progression. You might say, oh, they're not that important, but they really massively are. If we assume that the bicycle alone can let you get around 20% faster, which I think is reasonable, it can let you outrun enemies, which means you're going to get places faster. It, likes to, it lets you move literally physically faster too, and you can put some of your inventory items in there so you can remove encumbrance and just move faster in general. So if we assume just the basic bicycle lets you get around 20% faster, well what that means is you're getting 20% more POIs done, 20% more end loot, 20% more opportunities to kill zombies and get XP, and 20% more quest rewards and quest XP and stuff. Now if we look at the mini bike and say it's like 30%, motorcycle 40, and then maybe the 4x4 is like the same because of basically the same speed. And then the gyrocopter is like, you progress twice as fast if you have that, especially if you're on a large map. So the vehicles are very heavily tied to how fast you can progress in the game, and they're locked behind intellect, or really just trying your RNG luck with the trader loot or trader quest rewards. And this series is a showcase of how the RNG isn't going to work in your favour reliably because I have checked the traders a great deal. I have done two traders so far up to tier 6 complete. One of them had a gyrocopter bundle. That doesn't actually help you very much. You need both of them to work. I've marked the old bookstore. I'm going to Bob, that's fine. So it means if you want to progress at a speed that, that I would consider acceptable, you have to go intellect which removes fun from the game in my opinion. I'm not sure how they could fix that, because how do you split the skill across like all of them or give it to everybody? They don't have a outside of attribute skill tree, which would be really nice. It would be really cool if you could just progress your crafting stations and vehicles without having to go into perks for them, but maybe the devs actively want it to take pretty much a 40 hour playthrough before you get the end game gear. But then we have to wonder, why can I get everything else so easily? I had this, you know, level 6 loadout. Day like 20. Anyway, Bob, do you have a forgetting elixir? He does have a crucible, but I've already got two. I'm good. Eat another one of these. Anyway, a long rant about how much I hate the learn by reading system over. Let's reset the skills and just play the way the devs want us to. Um, So, top priority, intellect, just get it maxed out. Don't think about it too hard. It hurts, it's fine. There we go, that'll just massively help with that. Then I want to get, you know what, we can leave strength for now. Go fortitude back up to five, or did I have it at seven? I think I had it at seven. Machine gunner, although I didn't bring a machine gun. Uh, well insulated, living off land. Absolutely bizarre skill choices, I know, but it comes with the territory of this strange playthrough. And parkour. Probably want to put points in gunslinger, actually, if I'm abandoning strength in favor of temporarily being immensely intelligent for the sake of magically finding more books in containers. Probably want to use my pistol and machine gun more, and I didn't bring a machine gun, so here we are. Uh, last seven skill points. I mean, we can get a little bit of strength in some shotgun. There we go. One spare skill point, let's just throw in heavy armor so I move a little bit faster. Right, so let's head down to Trader Hugh's town and see if he has any bookstores. I have a feeling he will, because it's just that kind of town. It's big. I'll see you guys over there. The snow is making it very hard to see if there's any useful buildings around here. At least there's probably a bunch of empty mailboxes, right? Hey, vehicle adventures. Since that might be the only thing I have points in that isn't complete, mailboxes might be a good way to go. Yeah, it's the peak. Oh wait, is that one there? Is this a bookstore? No, this is like a savage country. No, wasted steps, yeah. It's got the same wall as the bookstores, that's why I was confused. Right, doesn't look like there's any here. There is a electronics store there and electronics stores are weirdly a good source of vehicle magazines if you've got your stuff specialized towards it 
because the electronics crates will give you a good chance of things, I'm going to get hit in the face. Woo. I dodged him. I just want books, god damn it. I don't have points in this, it's not going to do much. Better up, right. I did get to, oh there's a bookstore I think. Yeah, the snow cleared up and now I can see one. It's the Cracker Cafe. Not the best, but it's better than none. Wow. I would have went right past that fucking snow. More damage with 44s. Last shot does extra damage. Let's head in here. Oh, I see it radiated straight away. Oh, it's going to be one of those. And by one of those, I mean it's a POI in the snow biome. Four arrows in and still somehow surprised by that. Really, that hitbox is just absolutely terrible. There we go. I feel robbed by that hitbox. The glass is apparently as bulletproof as the rest of the window. You know, this is really good when you put points into it. It was already serving me very well without the points, but damn. Firing. Hello there. Medical. Forge head. Handguns. I'm gonna find a lot of handgun magazines, actually. Yeah, I put points in that now, I remember. Still, shouldn't be competing too hard with the vehicles. There's one. There's two. There's a fourth. Another magnum enforcer. Only gives me a discount, nice. Still peak that I already know. There's a random guy in here. There's a fifth vehicle adventures. Um at more books here. Sixth vehicle adventures, we need 20 more. Already making much more progress than I've made in like the last week of trying to do it without the skill points in the Grease Monkey Park. Any no nope, no. Nope. Usually there's a filing cabinet in there, but that one's empty. Ow. Barbed wire. Hey, don't climb the ladder. That makes things more complicated than it needs to be. Come down here. There should be one in here as well. Hit planet and handguns. Bash open the end loot here so I don't have to fall in from above. Ow. Let's have a look in these cracker book containers. Rifles and handguns. Vehicles. I think that's the seventh one. Last chance. Here's an eighth one. Okay. So we got eight from in here. That's not bad. Could be better. There is this up here as well. This sometimes has one. <laughs> ah, handguns. Okay. Oh, missed some books again. A ninth. There we go. So nine's pretty good. Let's see if we can find more bookstores. Or at least a bunch more mailboxes. It's not too uncommon for a town to have two bookstores in it, so I am going to check the other side of the town here. I remember in the last series I found two bookstores next to each other twice in two separate towns. Oh, there's a partial bookstore there as part of another POI. That might be worth a quick check. There's a tenth. Is there somewhere I can smash in here? Or is it even worth doing? There's a few books in there. Let's see. Oh, 3,000? Uh, what about just breaking in... Oh, I've been in here. But I missed this bookshelf. Well, there's the Vehicle Adventures. And another one. We need 14 more. I guess a quest sent me there at some point. Let's um, keep checking on the other side of the town, though. Oh, actually. <laughs> there's another partial bookstore here. Again, I might have been here, though. Handguns. Handyland. Mod. Handguns. Let me kill the zombies. Did they just go around? Interesting choice. Okay, nothing much here. The search continues. Hopefully I can find one of the tier 2 bookstores because that is where you find good books. There's a lot more containers in there than there is in the tier 3 one. Mm. I see commercial buildings. Aha! Perfect. We'll get some real books from here. Oh, I jumped onto the roof. Handguns and sharp sticks. Oh no. There we go. 13 more, I believe in you, POI. You can do this for me. Here we go. Yep, it's definitely working. Another one. 10 more. Another one. Yet another one. Yet another one. Don't find another one because my voice can't go any higher. Handguns. Hello. Who the fuck? Where'd you come from? Another one. Two more. Magnum Enforcer. Done with that. Nice. Handguns. 
other one. We need three more. Here we go. Two more. One more. I think a mountain lion just came in. Hey, the last vehicle adventures. Finally. See how infuriatingly easy it is. It took me like half a day to get 25. By that logic, if you had enough bookstores, it could take you two days to get all 100 of them. But you have to do it this way, or you're just never going to get them. Well, not never, but like day 40, really? I've done everything by then. Why would I need the gyrocopter when I have everything? Let me just finish up the books here. I may as well. I won't get anything, but I could get a couple of good skill books, I guess. Still not done medical journal. Don't really care though. Nothing too helpful in there. Uh, have all these. And... And tech planet. Okay, let's head back to my base and make the gyrocopter chassis and craft the gyrocopter. I don't need to make the accessories because that one bundle actually got me one. Uh, so, yeah. I don't think I'll need books for anything else, so I don't really care that I've not marked these. Let's head home. Finally able to make a gyrocopter. And it only took like half a day's work when you play it the way the game wants you to. But what if I don't want to play that way? Well, fuck you. Says seven days to die. Anyway, look, I'll see you back at my base. <laughs> Right, let's see what we need to make the gyrocopter. There's the accessories, there's an engine, there's three wheels. So, then it's just the chassis. Which needs a bunch of steel. Got that. Mechanical parts, got that. Duct tape, probably don't have that. Got two, have I got any other glue? There's glue there. Let's get some bones and I got water in here is all outside. Right, one second, I'll go get some more water as well. There we go. There's 72 water, that should be enough. There's glue. Just have to wait for that. Let's get some cloth as well. Uh, electrical parts. And leather. Plenty of that. I'm just waiting for duct tape now. Alright, let's craft the gyrocopter chassis and then we just have to wait. So I will have this done in the morning. I have everything else already. So I'll just see you guys when this is done in the morning. Okay, so it's the next day. We have the gyrocopter finally. I forgot to fuel it. That's fine. I need to buy some more fuel, but again, that's also fine. I do want to harvest my farm really quickly, because it's been grown for like a day and I'm wasting time. Now it looks like there's a wandering horde coming. Okay, farm's clear, let's see. Need another seven goldenrod seeds, and I've got enough corn seeds. So I'm still very short on a lot of these. Some of them are obviously rarer than others. But we're, we're getting there. I've got seven aloe now. Things like coffee are really taking ages because I have such a small starting amount of them. But that's just how it is with this farming mechanic. So let me replant all this and then we'll go and do something. If we're lucky today, we'll find a trader wrecked who will be able to sell me a bunch of seeds. Which might help with some of these more annoying seeds to find, like aloe. What I want to do today is find all the traders now that I have a gyrocopter or find a lot of traders at least one of each of them so that I can get a bunch of house decoration block item things because I do want that to be able to you know make my house is there any water yet if not that's fine okay I'll wait for more water from there before I make paint which I'm obviously going to need if I want to reinforce the house uh so let's go up to Joel and see what he has. Actually, actually, let's check Jen because we're right here and they just opened. What do you have, Jen? She does have some aloe leaves somewhere in here. I'll get those because that could be turned into seeds and help with the process. I need a bit more gas though. Let's get these. Right. So a few so decorative items there. Let me use my forget elixir and reset my skills back to something actually useful. Back up to seven strength. Get boomstick. Minor 69er and mother load and heavy armor. Fortitude up to 7. Machine gunner. Huntsman well insulated. Living off the land. Pain tolerance. Agility up to 8. Gunslinger. Run and gun. Parkour. Need two more skill points to max out parkour, but that's fine. 
Let's go see some of the other traders. I'm going to start with Trader Joel. All right, let's talk to Trader Joel. He did not have much. Let's go talk to someone else. Hey, Bob. 4x4 four four truck chassis again. Just to spit in my face. Right. I'm interested in finding out what lies to the east of us here. So let's go and explore that direction. See if we can find a trader wreck to sell us some seeds. All right, we got another town here. There's probably a trader in it. There's a trader, Joel, here. What do you have, Joel? Almost nothing. Very helpful. Thank you, Joel. Let's keep searching for more traders. <laughs> we got another trader, Jen, here. I think this is the only other trader Jen I've found. That's interesting. Still, I was hoping for a trader wreck, and the one time I need that, right, he's not here. Hey, Jen. Those aloe leaves. And she has nothing else I really need. Let's keep searching for more towns with more traders. Got someone over here. It might be trader wrecked, but I can't remember if that is also what trader Bob looks like. I think it is wrecked. Watch him not have any seeds for like the first time ever. Just so he can be his maximum asshole. Big dipshit. Two aloe vera seeds, two hop seeds. Definitely needed those. That will help at least partially. Now we know where he is, we can get more. I'm going to get these home cooking weeklies. There we go. There is another town to the north, though, that I'm interested in. But we at least got a few more aloe and hop seeds, which are two I'm kind of short on. I need coffee seeds more than anything. Let's head north and see if we can find another trader wreck, maybe. I see a trader hue there. And then there's another small town to the north. This place has a lot of small towns. I wonder if it has its own trader, though. Yeah, it looks like this smaller town might not have its own trader, which is understandable. It's a very small town. In that case, let's head around to Trader Hugh here. Let's see what Hugh has aside from mountains of ammo. Okay, he doesn't have much. Is that all the traders on the map, probably? You would assume so. Let me delete some of these other markers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven traders. I don't know how many I should have, but there is a lot of them available to me. I feel like there should be another trader wrecked somewhere, but I don't think I'm going to find him out here to the east or the north. He might be somewhere to the south. Let's head down to that trader hue and see if his roads lead anywhere useful. Hmm, there's no towns down there. No roads lead anywhere. It's just nothing. Well, let's go see Trader Hugh, see what he has, and then go home. I should have enough stuff to start uh, customizing my base a little bit more. Yeah, he didn't have much either. That's fine, though. We have enough, I think, to at least start building my base a little bit more out. You know, having actual furniture and rooms and stuff like that and decorations. Um, no one had any items I wanted or anything, so that's kind of disappointing, but it's fine. I have almost everything I could possibly need anyway. The last thing we need to do for the ZDs is take on some tier 6 POIs and customize the base and do the day 42 horde. And then we'll be done. In the next episode, we'll get onto some base building. I know a bunch of you really like that. So look forward to that, I guess. Let me know if you're still enjoying the series. And in the meantime, special thank you to my members and patrons. If you want to become one of those, there are links in the description to do so. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out another one? I would recommend the one on the top right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.